and welcome back to my channel with myself Isabella. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm super excited because we're doing a different kind of video and we'll be doing a variation analysis of the Dulcinea Keytree variation from the dream scene um, of myself. <laughs> um, I thought this would be really interesting and um, I've got lots of ideas on this front. I think it'd be interesting to even um, analyze other dancers. Um, so let me know if you're interested in that series and we'll definitely, definitely make it happen. Um, but today we'll start with me. We'll start with me. So um, I did this variation um, for fun um, and mainly I also used it for um, audition videos and things because it's just a really good variation to do. You know, it just has everything in it. It's got literally everything it has adage extensions it's got jumps it's got a monage it's got hops on point um so <laughs> it's sort of like you know ticks all the boxes and shows that you can basically do a lot of key things um so first of all we're going to watch it together and then we'll break it out bit by bit so let's watch it now Okay, so super interesting, right? I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's pick it apart. <laughs> so there's lots of things that um, I would have wanted to improve. Um, I was filming, my mother was filming me do this at the time. And I've, guys, I've full um, honesty. I, I was never good at letting my mum watch me um, too much because I would just... Um, always disparage myself so she'd be like no no that was a good one and I'll be like no it's not it was terrible you don't know anything <laughs> that was turned in that wasn't good enough um and she was only trying to help and I just think it's that classic like um young person thing of just um you know not being so kind to your parents in moments of you know um when you're putting in some effort yourself especially ballet you know um, but I, kn I know I'm not alone in this. There's lots of people out there that can't dance like with their parents in front of them uh, when it's something important. Whereas it's funny though, when my teacher was in the studio with me and then my mum was there, it was fine because whatever my teacher was saying to me is like I trusted them wholeheartedly. Whereas where if it was my mum saying it like, I think you should do this. I think you should do that. It's like, oh God, I think I hated the fact that my mum saw something was wrong, you know? So that's what I struggled with. Anyway, had I been on my own, perhaps I would have um, done this several more times, but I just had to, <laughs> had to deal with it. Even so, by this point, my arms were already slightly softer. And I actually um, 
chalk that down to having done, it's going to sound strange, but having done a little bit more um, contemporary and also having been out of school um, a few years. So I'd already been in um, several, well, the Mikhailovsky and the and Eiffel Ballet at this point. So already, even though I'm classically very trained, I'm not as, say, um, schooly you know and i'm a little bit softer a little bit lighter um so let's look at the first section and then i'll um give my feedback over the top nice entrance the wafts were a bit big i think i would have made the wafts a bit better that's a good hold. I should have held the second, the first one a bit more. Now, what I should be doing as well after the um, the jump, I should finish with my foot as a full stop in tondu. Not not fifth, you know. Full stop. Stay. Okay, guys, so um, I'm going to, it's so funny, I'm going into coach mode, ready to pick myself apart. So even on the, the last arms there, when I go, before I run to the corner, um, you can see my, because in Russian ballet as well, you have to think a lot about the elbows being back. So I'm thinking a lot about elbows back, but I'm forgetting to shape the wrists. So I go, ta -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -dum, ba -da. <laughs> you know, like this on top. you got to finish it completely and shake the wrist. So I should have done that. As well as when I do the attitude, the first attitude, just need to try to get my body um, a little bit squarer. Because when I go attitude, you can see I'm just slightly, slightly twisting towards the working leg and just this ever, an ever so like ever so slight crunch down of the working side, which is making it look less attractive. So you need to make sure that side is long as you do attitude, attitude long and square. Yeah. Um, but what I'm not, what I'm doing well is the glissade back into the second attitude where it's behind you because that's quite hard to do and it's a there's a very nice hold there and another thing that i'm doing which i like <laughs> this sounds funny doesn't it is when you step back when i after the attitude hold when i plie i'm softening the arms to come down because it's very easy to step back attitude and then come down with stiff arms you know like this yeah so that's another good, good thing um Another good thing is um, the accent of the rond. So you'll notice that what could make this movement look quite heavy is if you do, so we've done tayam attitude, step back attitude. Then I could go tayam, I could go straight to plie and go tayam, pam, pam, pam. But that's less light. And especially for someone like me who's tall and has these lanky long legs, that wouldn't look good on me. So if you notice, we're gonna watch this section again. I stay up in the second, I stay up, and then use the momentum of the plie to get to the um, arabesque, because those are the highlights for me. The highlight is the a la tayam, and then I'm gonna use the plie to bring the arm, arm and leg to arabesque. So it's a quite a, it feels like quite a natural movement, because you go a la E, use the arm and leg, tayam arabesque. I would have wanted to have held the arabesque a bit longer, by the way, a bit longer. Tayam, pam, pam, pam. Because I don't need to see this. Tayam, tayam, pam, pam, pam. You know, that's not using the music as efficiently either um, to its fullest, you know, potential. And uh, it's making it look heavy. Like I say, I don't need to see this whole journey to arabesque. Yeah, I just want to see and light, quick, stay, die, yum, pam, pam. And then uh, I really need to see the yum, pam, tondu. Yeah, when I finished. Um, 
I think when I had recorded this, I sent this back to my um, dear friend, Gennady Zalutsky, because he was helping me with this at the time. This was before like Zoom lessons and everything. He actually, this is like way, way before that. And he was like, why don't we just do the lesson on Skype? And I was like, oh, like th that can't work possibly. Nah, that can't work. And so we just sent videos back and forth, but crazy now because it's like most of what I do. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so one of the things he said was you need to go Batman, flick, and then tendu, finish tendu, and then close fifth as you go into the B side, not before, because it's you're losing that nice accent in the music. Okay, so let's watch again both at the errors and the things I'm doing well. So it's how I'm slightly crunching down in attitude, which also is impacting how I balance on that first one, the attitude. How I'm coming down nicely with the arms and how I'm using the momentum of the arm and leg well on the rond, not emphasizing plie, but emphasizing up. And how I'm not doing the tendu when I finish the jump and how I don't shape my wrists on the end either. All right. Let's watch one more time. And I think I waft a bit too much on the, I should rest it on the tutu and then just do one preparation. Bit crunchy, so I don't stay as long. Then soft, good. Yum. Stay, that's a good one. But you know, no tondu, I'm upset. Yeah, good. Because guys, remember, plie is heavy and it's harder to stay. It's harder to stay in plie. So you got to use use it effectively to help. And then it looks lighter. Okay, now watch. I do not shake the wrist on top. It's like I'm saying hi to the auditorium. <laughs> Assemble. Okay, guys. Yeah. Did you see the errors and did you see the stuff that's pretty good? Pretty good. But yeah, we don't want to be saying hi. Make sure you shape the wrist. Let's carry on. So now we've just done that diagonal and now we do the hops. Okay. So let's just um, watch this together once and then we shall pick it apart. Not bad. <laughs> um, so basically, it's quite interesting. So I would also um, make sure for myself on the first assemble preparation. Again, I'm just lifting the arms a bit too high um, because I think you know you're sort of just above the tutu when you lift the arms. Ta yum, palm, palm. Ta just gentle. You don't need to do this wafting thing that I'm doing all the time. And also when I do the when I do the hops, um, I'm doing them quite well. It's very, very hard to do hops and not lift the shoulders up and down. Okay, so when you do hops, you have to really brace your bottom foot for one. So you're really using your toes. They're still beautifully long in there, but your ankle is like, you know, very stiff in this position. It's actually like a really um, tense and I'd say dangerous position for the body because like when your foot's in this position, it's like more than two times your weight or maybe it's even 10 times. I forget the statistics, but it's it's like a lot more weight is going into your foot than is um, mechanically supposed to happen, which is why we need, you know, really strong feet basically. So you need to really brace that ankle, make sure your glute of that leg is really switched on as well as the supporting shoulder. So my shoulders in this um, um, section in the hops are really super duper engaged um, because it's very easy when we do these hops to transfer the weight too much towards the working leg, which is when you fall off balance because you sort of go towards the leg that you're rounding and you need to stay on the supporting leg all the time. Ta on the support. 
squatting leg tie yum shoulders down i'm going to lift this arm up but i'm not going to stray from the supporting leg stay on the shoulder all the time because then you just feel solid and then the legs just coming out and in every time you rond it's almost like you feel the lift in the hamstring a little bit more right so i'm not dropping the leg down as i rond i'm lifting the hamstring so there's a lot going on in the head at the time as well as let's talk about the hip position so we're not fsa and we're not exactly a la seconde it's one of those strange positions where you're sort of your hips are facing a little bit more second than fsa right so i'm a bit more in second but my body is a bit more angled towards the leg to give a bit more shape so let's watch it again so we can see the body but it's it's a little bit more angled with the hips to the front so we look turned out but then the shoulders are a bit more to the corner right so you're isolating the upper body just that little bit more okay <laughs> and then we've got to pull up on the end as well and do a nice double rond um and i think on the sutanu i just did a little, little bit too much walkie 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 i would have wanted to go stay lead with the elbow squeeze your glutes stay and then walk back prepare for the next diagonal okay so there's a lot going on let's watch that again so we can see so I'm really on the supporting leg pinning the shoulder down and you've got to remember this even as you shunt even as you travel don't let it jeopardize where your shoulder is lots of lift under the side arm and knee lots of lift lots of lift a bit too much walkie walkie so it looked a little bit turned in yeah so as you travel remember you have to travel as a unit so you know not one side of your body the whole thing goes with you as well as um trying to keep your hips beautifully narrow all the time so when you hop very narrow 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 so it's almost like i would visualize the the leg really in the socket as i'm doing the rond de jambe tie yum in 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 not letting the hip and the leg get longer you know um, yeah, and as you can see, just a little bit turned in on the Sutanu section. Right, let's carry on. Let's first of all watch um, the um, Sissons. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's pause there. So we'll, we'll do the manège in a second. So um, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. See, I think I'm spending, maybe the tempo is a little bit slow here, but I think I'm spending just a bit too much time in plié. So, and I'd like the front leg a little bit more um, extended, a little bit more forwards, right? And again, with this... When you land, ta yum. So when you land from the seesaw, ta, you got to bring the foot to retire. So a lot of the time we drop it down to coup de pied, and then that's like, oh, that's such a long way back up. Like, let's just bring it to retire. But then you've got to have a really nice connected hamstring because you sort of have to think about lifting it higher than you think, you know, because then it will be at the knee. And like I always say, and like we were trained in school, you want your arms before your legs, always. Okay, so when you land from the, the season before attitude, ta yum, ba 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 bum, ta yum, ba 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 bum, ta yum, bum. So the arms are just that little bit ahead of you all the time. Yeah, they're just, otherwise it looks rushed and it looks um, out of control and it also helps you balance so much if your arms are just slightly ahead of you so remember that one um and yes i think i need to stay a bit longer in attitude yum, ba, 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 bum. or basically um not to sit in plie i'm listening to the music a lot but i think it's making me look a little bit heavy in plie so i would sort of want to go yum, ba, 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 bum, ba, yum, ba, 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 bum. Uh, yeah. just spending less time in plie 
And then as I get tired, I want to have just a little bit more lift under the arms when I jump and in the stomach so that the last one isn't so labored and um, the front leg is sagging just a little bit. Okay, so let's look at those things. Front leg nice and extended. Seeing my mistake of spending a bit too long in plie, we want to stay longer in attitude and rebound from the plie just that little bit more so it doesn't look so heavy. You've got to keep your bottom down. Arms before legs all the time. So after season, arms up before attitude, making it look lighter, which I should be doing. Um, and then holding on to the last one just that little bit more. Arms up first. Stay. E. Rebound off the plie. Nice. I think I would have wanted to look up actually. Okay, so I think what I should have done is actually looked up a little bit more on the last one because um, I was basically looking to the front the whole time when I did the seasons and I think it would have been nice to add a bit of variety and look up a little bit more on the last one, you know, to be like, ah, this is the last one, balance, balance, you know. And add a little bit more um, expression. Um, so let's carry on on to the end. Okay, guys, it's not bad. Um, first of all, the hair's messy. The hair's super messy. Um, <laughs> my mom should have brought some hairspray. Um, ah, fun fact. That tutu that I'm wearing is actually um, from the Marinsky. I stole it. <laughs> no. I was... Um, well, sort of. I was given it um, as a practice tutu when we were rehearsing at the Marinsky Theatre. And then I took it to school because we were allowed. And then... I just didn't give it back. So yeah, it's mine now. Um, so anyway, with the Monage, I started a little bit late. Yeah, as you can see. Um, so it should have gone da 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 bam 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 um ba ba. But I was just a little bit late with the runs. So you definitely want to start on the music. Da 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 bam 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 bam. Sometimes people let go the first one. So they go da 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 bam 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 bam. Do you know what I mean? Instead of ba da 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 da, yeah. Um, but I just let go a bit too long, I think. Um, now with Monage, now um, I know this, and actually I could have I could have done more for sure. You want to jump your Monage. You want to really propel forwards and push off of your um, underneath leg. So you really jump and jump and jump ba -da -bum, you know almost literally jumping onto point and um not being afraid of that because uh you have to when you watch professionals do a manege and uh, on a big stage and there's not many counts but they're somehow managing to take up the whole stage to do a manege there's a reason for that they are literally jumping and propelling forwards, okay? So that's what I needed to have done here. And I think I, I definitely could have done it more. Could have been a bit braver, could have jumped a bit more. Um, so let's watch till the end once more. And you can see I'm jumping, but not enough. And I don't start on the music this time. E, go. Forwards, jump, jump. Yeah, not enough jump, not enough jump. It's a bit too... Okay, nice finish. The arms are much more shaped there, which is better. Good. So yeah, I could have done a lot more, um, a lot more jump forwards, which is very important on the manege. In general, I'm happy with it. Um, I have shared it on my Instagram and... I've had some real love for the variation and, you know, people saying it's beautiful and things, um, which is very nice. Um, thank you. But I, um, you know, there's literally always things that you can improve and you can work on. And 
I'm not I, I'm going to encourage you as well to kind of um, see that I'm happy with how I did it and I'm not disparaging it and oh this wasn't good this wasn't good this wasn't good like I'm very happy with I did it but of course there's room for improvement and um, I think it's okay to be like happy with how it is so far and know that yeah I mean I could have improved all these things but you know it's 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 good it's good but things can get better and that's why you keep revisiting things and I think that's what keeps professionals um going and keeps us like seeking artistic improvement and motivation it's like how many times can you do Swan Lake you know um and I'm sure each time there's something that they want to develop not necessarily all not necessarily technical like maybe they want to develop the role a bit more so they just add these little nuances and add these little things that they didn't add the first time because there's other technical things to think about like it never gets boring because there's always something you can um develop there however we don't need to hate what we're doing until we get to this ideal state of perfection because perfection doesn't exist so you can say i'm happy with how it is now but i'm looking forward to improving it and developing it which is what um, we're doing here today we're looking at it and it's nice it's, it's good but we can develop it further and make it better um, so I hope you've enjoyed the corrections and we're going to watch it one more time together one more time and um, I'm going to leave out my commentary on this last one so again you can watch in silence and you can watch um, the corrections that I mentioned and the um, things that are good as well as the things that are not so good and needed some work so little details it's always in the details yeah so you know the beginning the body in the attitude using the momentum to get to arabesque showing the ton du more when i did this shaping the arms before the um position before the um in the position before we run to the corner um hops looking at the hip alignment and making sure little tips for you being on the shoulder squeeze the glute and really tense the um supporting foot okay as well as always staying on that leg thinking about narrowing yourself I think I could have kept my shoulders down just a little bit more to show even less strain or less difficulty. And then throughout, not so much wafting with the arms when I prepare for something, a little bit softer, a little bit um, subtler. And then in the jumps, we want to jump higher, extend the front leg a little bit more and making sure I get my arms up before my legs, which I'm doing. And you can take away that as well. And I didn't want to sit in plie too long. I'm sitting in plie just a little bit too long, which is making it look just a little bit heavy. And then I wanted to look up on the last season a little bit more. And then on the manege, I'm a bit late starting and I wanted to jump and propel much, much more. Yeah. Um, before the final finish, which was pretty good. Um, okay. So <laughs> obviously when I'm correcting someone and correcting students, I don't... Um, uh, <laughs> say it all in one go otherwise it's a bit like oh <laughs> you know okay I'll try to remember what's that first one again um, so we'd you know do it bit by bit bit by bit um, but yeah so you remember all right let's watch it now
nice. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this um, type of video. Please like, please subscribe because I know some of us watch and aren't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe because there's lots coming. Um, we have a really exciting course coming to ballywithisabella.com. So make sure you go and sign up to the newsletter. That's um, on my website so you don't miss the emails that come through with all the announcements. Um, if you're looking to accelerate your training, improve faster and improve smarter and want to learn from me and how I got to the top of Vaganova and became a soloist ballerina, then you want to take my classes and my courses because I share all my wisdom and all my secrets. And balletwithisabella.com can be your secret weapon to excellence. So give it a go. You get seven days free, so you don't even have to commit. You can just try and see if you like it. I'm planning on doing more videos of this type. We can also analyze other ballerinas as well and um, go from there. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.